Welcome to 24CH Special Extended Cut Edition. In Episode 9, Max Pacioretty and Davey Darnay are reunited and start clicking right away. Davey gives us some insight into their long-standing chemistry. And Brandon Prust is back in the lineup and, as usual, is ready to scrap. We shouldn't be 10, 9, and 2. We should be a lot better than that. That's it. Nice. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. We're all together. This is team spirit. You will be sore, you will be painful, but again, that's part of part of hockey. When you play with me, you're the best player out here. This is Gallagher. Je veux que la charge d'émotion soit telle que les gens disent Oh oui. After a week of tame offensive output, the players train harder than ever to get back in fighting form. It's at the whites at this blue line, reds at the far blue line. Right. Good job, boys. During the Think Quebec event, Jeff Molson shared how he became a Habs fan. But I want to go back in time a little bit. On a une image ici du forum. Ça c'est les vieux jours. Expliquez-nous c'était quoi votre expérience de 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 d'aller d'être du fils du propriétaire à devenir un vrai fan. Mais quand j'étais jeune, euh, j'allais au match de hockey avec euh, avec ou même sans mes parents de temps en temps. Si j'ai complété mes devoirs, puis euh, on était à une rue du forum de Montréal. Alors, euh, mais une fois, un, un de mes amis m'a invité à un match, puis euh, il avait des billets. C'était la première fois pour moi que j'ai vraiment eu la chance de de comprendre qui sont les fans des Canadiens de Montréal. Il avait des billets standing room, debout seulement, euh, qui coûtaient 8 dollars à l'époque. Euh... Est-ce qu'il y a une grande leçon sur c'est quoi être un fan du Canadien? Qu'est-ce qu'on apprend quand on est debout à voir le club et à sentir là, être dans le feu de l'action? Est-ce qu'il y a une différence qu'on qu qu comprend? Je pense que l'engouement des partisans, il est partout à travers euh, le forum à l'époque, le Centre Bell maintenant, mais... Et je dirais que euh, les gens, il y a des gens qui sont des maniaques des Canadiens de Montréal. C'est notre responsabilité comme, comme propriétaire, comme président, euh, de, les, de les écouter, de travailler avec eux et de trouver des, des façons de, de bâtir une relation avec euh, ces, ces fans. Tonight, Dale and Pacioretty will be line mates. J'ai besoin de lui, là, tu sais, je suis un passeur, j'ai besoin d'un marqueur. Euh, si je fais des passes, puis des passes, puis euh, ça ne rentre pas, ça ne sert à rien. Puis lui, euh, il a besoin d'avoir ces opportunités-là. On, euh, on a une bonne chimie en dehors de la glace, puis ça a de glace, puis on veut jouer ensemble. Puis euh, euh, ça, dans des moments difficiles, mais on n'est pas tout le temps ensemble. Mais euh, euh, comme j'ai dit tantôt, euh, c'est d'avoir des opportunités, puis euh, cette opportunité-là de jouer avec ça. Un, un, un joueur comme ça, il faut pas, faut pas que je la rate, puis euh, ça m'a remis euh, back on track pas mal. The players jostle each other during warm-up. They can't wait to play. All right, let's make sure we play the right way. Let's use our speed and compete, compete to get the puck back. And obviously, we need a lot of good discipline out there tonight. We don't give them power play at all, all right? Come on, let's go. We're starting Larry's line with Chucky, Rusty, Marky, Subi, and Pricer. Let's go, boys. The Canadians' wild game kicks off. Speed, 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 speed. Pacioretty is slammed into the board. A scene that brings back bad memories. Right from the face-off, the enforcers protect their home turf.
This is a good fight. He's pretty tough, right? Yeah. I fought him probably six or seven times, I'd say, by now. Pretty even, yeah. End of the first period. That one wasn't nothing to nothing. that even. Um, yeah, I fought him. I bet you that was our sixth fight. I, I fought him a couple years ago, and I, I tore the tendon in my finger. It was probably January, and um, so now I can't bend that finger anymore. So, uh, but I played, I remember I played the rest of the season with it because they were like, we can fix it right now and reattach the tendon or, but you'll be out for three months. You'll miss the rest of the regular season or you just play with it and after the season, we'll, we'll just take it out. You'll never be able to bend that, that knuckle up there. You know what I mean? Like I can bend that knuckle, but I just can't bend that. So you can't make a full fist. I can't make a full fist. Like, yeah. How do you fight like that? And I just hold on for dear life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it ended up, really like swelling up at the end of the season my hand was like swollen I had scar tissue like I have pictures from the surgery of them taking it out taking the tendon out it was gross Patch is going for four Puck at the net said the coach it's Booneyval's turn to score four nothing good job good job Wolves that boy Whitey the wild are frustrated hey what the f are you doing? You want to get f***ing dummied? End of the second period. Good job, Brad. Great period here. Great job here. Oh, boy, Barney Adam, what price you can say? It's the end of the George's heeds caution. Get that puck. We get it behind him. We play smart. Don't give us our chances, please. Let's go, boys. Come on, finish this fucking thing strong here. Let's go. Big 20 minutes here. We're battling hard, competing hard. It's not hard to be Jerk's job, is it? By the way, here we go. Come on, boys. Third period. Janta passes to Pierre. He shoots. He scores. Nice Minnesota scores. Five to one. Terrien asks his team to keep up the pace. Let's make sure we play hard for Pricer. Right? Let's make sure we play hard for Pricer, all right? All right, come on, we'll give nothing, all right? Come on, okay? Come on. Oh, yeah, this is funny. Oh, Chuck, you got to bury that. Parise, two hands. He, uh, he, uh, right off the face off, I didn't even know what happened. I just kind of went through and all, I was like, all of a sudden I was like, what the hell? Someone whacked me right on the side. So I turned around and like, kind of look who it was and I saw it was Prize. So that's kind of how that, and, uh, I said, yeah, and then I just said, watch your wrist. I tried to get him back. <laughs> Rest, it was like third period. I only had a couple more shifts again, so I gave him a couple wags. So. Act like it. I the best player. Yeah. When you when you play with me, you're the best player out here. I thought you were being nice to him for a second, then realized. Well, I'm never, I'm never that nice to him. There's always a catch. Um, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I, I like playing with Chuck, so but sometimes he'll get down on himself too much, so I have to keep him positive. Dernier's smile and moustache grow ever wider. It's good. Yeah, especially to see Patrick. You see, uh, you know, when it's not going well, we have to group up and we have to make it together. So we're back. So it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. 
Yesterday's 6-2 victory leads to a lot of smiling faces. Obviously, me and Davey were shredding there for a bit and uh, weren't helping the team win, so it's nice to uh, contribute for a win for once. You know, everyone's happy, obviously. Uh, wife's happy that now I come home and I'm talking after, uh, <laughs> after I finally have a good game. Brandon Prest looks for an essential piece of equipment. Do you take my jock? No. The camera's on me. Some of us are playing a joke. Did you hide my jock? Did you hide my jock? No. The camera's still on. Really? There's got to be Therapist. something going on. No, I, don't, I have no clue. Only to realize he had simply put it in the wrong locker. Jean-Jacques Daigneault explains his job the day after a game. On se présente à l'ouvrage chez tôt le matin, puis on se met déjà à regarder, à visionner des films de notre prochain adversaire. Ça, c'est les images du, du match d'hier. Moi, je vais prendre les, les, les bonnes choses qu'on a faites sur le désavantage numérique. Euh, puis les défenseurs aussi. Les défenseurs ont très bien joué. On a eu des bonnes sorties de zone. Je prends les, les bons jeux, je monte sur le défenseur. C'est aussi le match de Washington ce soir contre Pittsburgh. Il va falloir que je regarde, puis que j'analyse. Puis je prends des bonnes clips de, des tendances de Washington. November 20th, the Canadians hold their annual blood drive at the Bell Centre. The most common blood group here, CH. C'est la 32e collecte de sang des Canadiens. Euh, C'est une tradition qui date de, de l'époque de Claude Mouton euh, et de Jean Bivot. Un don de sang, c'est quatre vies sauvées. Alors, c'est très important. There you go. All right, hang in there. Be next, yeah, sure. Just gotta get the okay from the department here. Les joueurs ne donnent pas de sang, puis c'est pas par manque de volonté, c'est vraiment pour des raisons euh, techniques. Quand tu fais un don de sang, euh, dans les 8 à 12 heures qui suivent, tu peux pas faire d'efforts physiques importants. Alors, comme les gars vont être sur la glace demain matin pour un entraînement, c'est pas euh, recommandé. Je rencontre tout le temps des nouveaux gens, puis de voir les joueurs, puis c'est ça, c'est fun, mais ça gagne. C'est mon 70e aujourd'hui. J'ai attendu pour aujourd'hui pour le 70e. Piqué, can you hold my hand, please, when she's... Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. You'll be fine. You can squeeze, you'll be fine. Et ça, c'est Gallagher. <laughs> Puis la truc de bison que la plupart des Canadiens ont porté. Et ça donne la bonne chance. Jean Beliveau, Henri Richard, Piqué Subban, Deane, Lars Eller, son match 4 vues, une pause. C'était le match après qu'il avait sa photo à côté de la truc. Uh, Price, the premier blanchissage sa carrière, c'était le match après qu'il a eu sa photo avec la tue. This is Gallagher. What is it, a rat? It's, oh no, it's a squirrel. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks. Right. Keep up your work. <laughs> my favorite player. Oh, that's so cool. cool. You're my favorite fan. <laughs> As 24CH fans know, Prost and Budai like to relax by playing soccer. Another memorable penalty shot. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> the players have just learned the flight to Washington is delayed. Like Bud Light to dinner, or what do you got? It's a late, late on that man. The team services coordinator rearranges the schedule. Mais ce matin, on a été avisé par Miami Air que notre appareil qui qui arrivait ici originalement vers 11 heures ce matin. Pour un départ à deux heures, avait un problème mécanique à Miami. Le plus simple, c'était de mettre notre départ de l'aéroport à 7h30 ce soir, et demi plus tard à Washington. Prust and Price throw down. No worries for GSP. Yeah, well, just, I was after stretch. I think he was just like, we were just done, done practice and we were all stretching. And he was still sitting there, and I just kind of went and jumped on him. He's always down. He's always down for a, a wrestling match or a fight. Like, and he's strong. He's deceivingly strong. Like, sometimes I grab him, and he'll grab me. And like, I'm like, holy jeez. Like, he's yeah, he's strong. Great camaraderie. Bouillon sidelined. Trains with Murray, who replaces him. Your condition is not the problem. It's your age. J'avais cette situation là pour arriver, fait que je sais jamais le faire. Quand ça arrive, mais euh, je pense que c'est pour l'équipe, puis euh, je joue bien avec ça. It's almost game time. 
One thing for sure last game, we were a tough team to play against. Okay? We were compact. It was four checking as a unit of five, neutral zone, same thing, defensive zone. So our five on five game were sharp because we were all together. And we're tough to play against when we're doing that. But let's make sure we get the same focus and mindset and take a lot of pride and to be part of a team that's tough to play against. So if you take a bad penalty, you gotta make sure you take a damn good one. Because you know what, guys on the eye, they sacrifice themselves. When you're taking a bad penalty, this is what you do to your teammates. They have to be the shooting lane. This is team spirit. It's part of it. All right? Have a good game tonight. Go. The Canadians' Capitals game kicks off. Right at the start, the fourth line almost scores. Box and bodies at the net. Good job, man. Budai is put to the test. Moen's efforts are rewarded. One nothing for the Canadians. Despite the team's goal, assistant coach Digno adjusts his team's plays. From below the goal line, if he can go indirect, maybe it's easier for us to pick up. Dernay comes knocking. He discusses the play with the coach. Dernay scores an important goal to the great delight of his teammates. <laughs> Officials review the goal. I think it's good. Nice. It's cross, you said it's your shoulder, not the crossbow ball. So you oh. lose two feet, he said. Seriously? The goal is good. Ah, and good for Dernay. Less than five minutes later, Brière scores a third goal for the Canadians. At the very end of the period, the dangerous Ovechkin scores one for the Capitals. Three to one, 20 minutes into the game. All right, that's a good period for us. Keep playing hard, attack the net quick. You see guys, you got the rebound in front, and go for that rebound. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, up, boys. keep working, keep moving your feet here. Come on now. Dernay is robbed of a goal. The player's bench can be a dangerous place. Dernay is on fire tonight. Come on, I touch it. The captain inspires his team. Let's go, boys. Up. Tough getting third here. Nothing to panic, ball. You know we gotta be a little better though. Do the right things. Here we go. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Third period. Denio wants the team to play tight. Hi guys, let's go here. No scoring chance against, hey? No scoring chance against this period. Yemelin hobbles to the bench in pain. Get that on! Marky, PK! Keep it up, guys, keep it up. You look fresh. Wayne Gretzky, the greatest scorer of all time, tends the game. Come on, Sobe! Budai keeps his team in the lead. Dernay is baffled by a referee's ruling. You're kicking me out, and he puts his head in there after. I look like an idiot. The Capitals are catching up. Ovechkin scores a second goal. Bournival takes one for the team by blocking Carlson's slap shot. Ah, mais ce coup, j'étais sûr que mon pied était fracturé ou quelque chose en rien. C'était tellement enflé, j'étais pas capable de marcher, je le sentais plus, on dirait, sur le moment. Puis après ça, on a tout de suite été passé des radiographies euh, par la suite. Euh, je pense que c'est une bonne chose que, que j'allais passer tout de suite après la, la, la match. Je pense, je pense que je m'en je réinquiétais un, un peu plus longtemps. Can you do this? Bournival is determined to watch the rest of the game before being examined by a doctor. Habs keep the Capitals at bay in a 3-2 victory. Bonival must undergo tests. So far, so good. Oui, c'est ça. C est, c est, euh, quand quand tu es là tout de suite, au moins, tu n'as sais, pas de, de pensée négative à propos de, de ton pied. 
that bruise. You know, sometimes it takes a little while for the pain to subside. If it's not better in a couple of days, sometimes we repeat the x-ray because it's hard to sometimes see initially. Okay. Thank you. I think it's negative. Thank you. Man. Okay. Yeah. Good trip back. Thank nice. you. Great to see you again. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. I right. appreciate your help. No problem. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Attaboy, buddy. Buggy, you scoop ice in the chili. With a victory in the bag, it's time to go home. Injured since November 16th, René Bourg finally laces up his skates again. Bonival is still tormented by yesterday's blocked shot. Our concern this morning is coming into tonight's game. Is he able to walk? Is he able to, uh, um, you know, weight bear on it? Um, and second of all, can he get a skate on? Uh, this morning he did put a skate on. It, it is swollen, but he was able to tie it up. He went up for a little whirl. You know, we should be able to uh, work a miracle and get him in the lineup tonight. He will be sore. He will be painful. But again, that's part of part of hockey. He feels up to play. The Canadian's official voice, announcer Michel Lacroix, arrives early at the Bell Centre. He's hosting a Q&A between fan club members Marc Bergevin and Guy Lafleur. Moi, le plus beau moment que j'ai vécu, je dirais, ça a été euh, ben, un des plus beaux. Là. Euh, la première Coupe Stanley en 73. Claude Arose avait s'était fait fra fracturer la jambe à cette époque-là. Fait que là, le, le champagne, puis euh, tout ce que vous voulez, ça coulait à flou dans les billets, on s'en rendait. <rire> Les amateurs euh, ils sont vraiment des gens extraordinaires et je pense que les gens de la direction, que ce soit aujourd'hui Guy Lafleur et Marc Benjamin, leur rendent bien. On a beaucoup de plaisir ensemble, on a beaucoup, c'est un respect mutuel. Et quand on fait des exercices comme celui qu'on a fait à première ligne, le, le fan club officiel des adultes, on s'aperçoit que c'est quelque chose de tout à fait particulier les Canadiens de Montréal. C'est un grand plaisir que je vous introduise, notre général manager, exécutif, vice-président, M. Marc Bergevin. Y a-t-il une transaction que vous avez faite ou que vous n'avez pas faite qui serait peut-être dans votre tête si je l'ai manqué ça là? Non. Ah, oui. Merci beaucoup. On se voit tout à l'heure pour un match contre les Penguins de Pittsburgh. Marc Bergeron, tout le monde. Michel Lacroix prepares for the game against the Penguins. L'important, je pense, c'est de gérer les émotions et de faire en sorte que Quand les gens veulent avoir du plaisir, quand c'est le temps d'avoir du plaisir, on leur permet d'avoir du plaisir et on trouve des moyens pour le faire avec des annonces appropriées. Je donne toujours un avantage à nos joueurs. Il faut toujours que je donne un avantage à nos joueurs. Il faut toujours que je trouve un moyen de favoriser nos joueurs pour que la foule puisse devenir le sixième ou septième joueur, c'est selon, mais le joueur qui va faire la différence. Si tout ce monde-là s'allie pour devenir un élément important sur ce qui se passe sur la patinoire, encourager davantage nos joueurs, bien, à partir de ce moment-là, notre travail est fait. Tu es dans un amphithéâtre qui a 21 273 spectateurs, tu sais que le match s'en vient. Et là, je sais que tu sais, nous sommes les Canadiens de Montréal. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir. Là, il faut que je m'assure que tout le monde ait des frissons. Je veux que les gens, que la charge d'émotion soit telle que les gens disent « Ah, oh, oui, c'est ça. » The game kicks off. Get to the middle quick, get to the middle quick. Crosby draws a penalty. But the Canadians hang tough and put Marc Andre Fleury to the test. Price rises up against the Penguins. 
They're too slow to react. Plekanec comes very close to scoring. First period ends in a tie, nothing to nothing. He's shaky, boys. Fuck, you keep putting pucks on him, boys. Prust and Eller agree on plays. Yeah, right behind him, like f***ing coming right behind him, and then I, I hit you, and then you turn up. I know what you're saying. I'll try to, yeah. I'll try to, try to find that open ice there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We killed two penalties, and we got the momentum back. Let's make sure we keep it. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, man, let's go now. Second period. You got him. It. Good. Pacioretty fires a shot and scores. Number 67 fires up the crowd, as well as Michel Lacroix. The scorer of the first goal suffers a very painful injury. From behind. Uh, uh. Cut. Bleeding or anything? Take this off. Yep. Can you help me with the pants? Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Oh. wait. Can I ice it? One thing we can do, we can actually ice it. It sounds bizarre, but it will be better. Oh. Going here, boys. Keep pushing the face. I like that one. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's bigger. bigger. Where does this go? <laughs> Third period. Here you go. The Habs are off to a good start. Lekanet shoots and scores. Yes! Then Pacioretty, fully recovered, widens the gap to three goals. But the Penguins haven't had their last word. James Neal brings the score to three to one. Moen charges the net. Huh? Why? Why are you asking that? Hey, that's good. That's good. That's good, Morty. Morty. Are you f***ing chirping me, you f***ing pigeon? We good, guys. We good. All right, let's go. Let's huh? Go. That's good. Look like you're laying that you got hurt. Oh, Neil scores again. It's three to two. But Price closes the door. Third win in a row for the Habs. What was supposed to be a tough week ends well. Where did you get that shot in the second period, Max? Uh, in a bad area. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. Premiere 24 hours before everyone else only with the Bell TV app.